Okay, Project CB750. Bought this motorcycle with a seized motor, and I do I believe it's because it's just been sitting. So we're gonna unseize this engine in this video, and I'll show you how to do that. Now, if the engine's seized, you may be tempted just to go crazy on the Kickstarter, and I would not recommend doing that because the Kickstarter doesn't put a lot of leverage on the crank to get the engine rolling over. So don't be tempted to go kicking on this thing, you're probably gonna do some damage. So that is not the correct way to unseize a motor. Okay, and real quick, um, I did a coolant change video for Allstate Insurance. I'll put a link in the video description and an iCard in the upper right. Definitely check that video out. It took a lot of time to make it, and I think it turned out pretty good, so give it a view. Okay, so what we need to do is pull the spark plugs and just put some kind of penetrating oil into the cylinders and let it soak. So what I like to use is Marvel Mystery Oil. Um, this stuff seems to work really good. There's other stuff you can use and you can even make your own. A lot of people use uh, automatic transmission fluid and acetone in a 50-50 mix. That's a pretty good concoction, if you will. But honestly, this stuff works pretty good. Um, in order to get into the cylinders, you can use a turkey baster. Or if you want to get really messy, you can just pour it right in, depending on the situation. Or I just picked up one of these uh, Mighty Vac fluid extractors. And yes, it's for extracting fluid, but if you put it in here, if you load this thing up, then um, you know it can act as a pusher as well. So let's go ahead and just put some in while we're here. So you just need about an ounce or two per cylinder, and then we'll get it ready to shoot in the cylinder. Oh, and another thing, I upgraded the lighting in my shop to LED tubes, and I doubled the light output by adding more bulbs, and man, it is freaking awesome, and it makes making videos much easier. I mean, everything shows up much brighter. Anyway, here are the spark plugs. I went ahead and pulled them in advance, and let's just look at these really quick. There's a bunch of nasty crud on here, um, but... What I want to point out is all these plugs look like the bike was normally running and it was just put away and then it just seized up due to sitting. So there's nothing broken here. There's nothing, there's no red flags by looking at these plugs. So I'm, I'm just assuming that this was seized due to sitting. And what happens is the moisture comes in from the exhaust or the carburetors, gets into the cylinder and the rings simply get corroded to the cylinder wall. So that's, that's where the seizing is occurring. Okay, so with the plug removed, all you want to do is come over here with your extractor or whatever, and you just want to dump in some Marvel Mystery Oil. All right, and you want to repeat that for all four cylinders. And you can put in an ounce or two, or you can fill it way up. It doesn't matter, just depending how corroded it is. Okay, now you might be tempted to start cranking on it once you add the Marvel Mystery Oil. And what you want to do at this point is just walk away. Come back in a few days. Let this fluid do its work, okay? And depending how bad it's seized, it could take a couple days, it could take hours, it could take minutes, it could take several weeks. I, you know, it just depends on the situation. Uh, in my case, I walked away for a couple days, came back to it, and we're ready to, to unseize it, okay? Okay, so after a few days, you can go ahead and try to loosen it up. Um, what you want to do is directly drive the crank. Okay, don't, again, don't use the Kickstarter. You want to attach a ratchet right to the crank for the best chance of loosening it up. Okay, and also I should mention that, look at this thing. This is the points assembly, and this is a little shaft, and all this little mechanism. You don't want to go crazy and torque the hell out of this because you can damage this. So don't, you know, I got a big wrench here, but you're going to want to choke up on the wrench and just go easy. You want to gently break this thing loose because you don't want to damage any of this. Okay, so go clockwise first. And, and guys, I apologize. I unseized this and I didn't have the camera rolling, okay? But I'm just going to walk you through how I did it. So it was really tight and then I went a little clockwise. I went a little counterclockwise and I found like a tight spot and then I just kind of gave it a little pressure and then 
it just broke free. Now go slow because all the Marvel Mystery Oil will puke out out of the spark plug hole. And it's going to make a mess, but that's okay. And as you can see, this engine freed up very easily. And that's good because I'm going to rebuild it and I want to get access to the cam chain bolts. And it's just going to make disassembly a whole lot easier. So yes, this guy was just a little seized from sitting. A little bit of moisture got into the cylinders and the rings got stuck, but it is free. And I'm pretty confident that I could probably get this thing running as is, but I'm going to go ahead and rebuild it anyway because it looks pretty nasty. But that's basically how you unseize an engine. All right, that's it for this video. Make sure to hit that like button and share this with your riding buddies. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified right away when new videos come out. If you'd like to support me in creating more videos such as this one, check out my Patreon page and see if you can help me out. You can also buy me an ice cold beer or two by clicking on the link. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.